it, it occurs to me that the use of the phrase trickle down economics mm-hmm. not addressing the the need for improved clarity in our understanding of uh, the movement of capital in our economy, uh, you know, in particular uh, from the lower to mid-income uh, populations into the higher income groups. And I, I was just wanting to suggest that we might consider the use of the term geyser up in association with the trickle-down phrase so that people could understand that the flow is massively larger to the upper income uh, and not by necessity, uh, given the data we've collected, much, much less in returning to the middle and lower income. Yeah. That's an excellent point. Mark, thank you for calling and making it. It's, uh, in fact, let me go off on a little riff here, if I may. In Greece, what the Troika, the IMF and the European Central Bank and whatever the third member of the Troika was, uh, what, what they came up with was Greece had to cut their government spending. They had to cut the pay of their government workers. They had to cut social services. They had to uh, dial their national health care program back to you're you're only on it for one year. The New York Times did a story about this recently. It started out with a woman having her breast cancer burst through her skin and her breast. Um, All these horrible things. They said, you must do these things. And then in in their analysis of what the consequences of these would be, was, uh, and uh, Paul Krugman writing about it in today's New York Times, I highly recommend you read it, saying that the confidence fairy, the private sector will rush into Greece because Greece is now getting their economic house in order by doing away with all these social welfare programs, and the confidence fairy will come in and the private sector will rush to the rescue. Well, first of all, it hasn't worked out. Greece has gone from nine point. 5% 5% unemployment to over 25% unemployment. Greek poverty has exploded. And Greek's GDP has actually collapsed so that even though people are paying more in taxes, the tax collections are lower because they, this has thrown Greece into a recession. Uh, you could argue a depression. I mean, they have unemployment levels in Greece right now that are like the United States Great Depression in the 30s. What's important to know, though, for you and me as Americans, is two things. Number one, when the IMF went back and tried to find any country in the history of the world where that had cut itself, cut its way to prosperity to to rationalize their their what they what they dumped on Greece, they couldn't find one. Number one. And number two, what the IMF and the European Central Bank imposed on Greece is exactly what the Republican Party is trying to impose on the United States. You take away the sequester, you would, you would, you know, another million, two million, three million people would have jobs right now. Take away the, you know, you put into place some of the programs that President Obama tried to pass, that the Republicans have filibustered and fought and fought and fought, and you would see the economy grow. Our economy would be expanding, would be strengthening. But we are, you know, we have been now, uh, since arguably 2006 or 2007, in well, actually, I would say since 2009, because the Republicans had no problems at all giving Bush money for two different bailouts of the banks, two different stimulus bills, and and uh, and two wars, all off the books. All right, but ever since Obama became president, the Republican Party has imposed austerity economics on the United States of America, and we wonder why we're feeling bad. So anyway, I, I just it's worth it's worth noting.